we move on to color okay, the first thing that you have is temperature so this is, i think you know this that if you increase the temperature the the photo becomes warmer and if you decrease it, it becomes cooler by cooler i mean the blues are more accentuated and by warmer the yellows are more accentuated i'll uh, make the image a little bit warmer not much but a little bit about there basically i want a different kind of a shade in the mountains and i want to play around with the greens that's why i wanted a warmer image next is tint now the tint is the overall tint in the image that you find okay so um a g this gives a more greenish tint and this gives a more pinkish tint okay so i don't think i need too much i'll probably just keep like a negative two negative one yeah same okay now the next is vibrance and saturation it's a little confusing so what saturation does is it reduces the saturation in all colors vibrance increase and decrease uh, if you decrease the vibrance, it decreases the vibrance of all surrounding uh, colors except for the mid-tones. By mid-tones, I mean skin tones and all that. It does not reduce it as much, okay? So, usually I play around with vibrance and to compensate it, I just increase the saturation a little bit. So, I'm gonna go a little low on the vibrance. I think that should do it. Okay, now, next is the color mix. So, this is where you can actually play around with your image a lot. So, you have three firstly you have eight colors to choose from you have red orange yellow green aqua blue purple and magenta okay now first is the hue so hue is the shade of the color now red come red can be a little orangish and red can be a little more red like a blood red kind of a thing so again for orange it can be more reddish it can be more yellowish you can see on the slider that if you go on the right it becomes orangish if you go on the left it becomes reddish okay so this is the hue of the image the next is the saturation so how much saturated do you want a particular color to be for example if i take blue the blue on the guy's shirt over here okay so if i increase the saturation you can see that it's like it's popping out a way more like way more if you decrease it it decreases the saturation of the blues okay now the hue will change the shade of the blue see it becomes aqua and this becomes more of purple all right and luminance is the brightness of a certain color suppose i increase the saturation and if i increase the luminance you see it becomes more bright if i decrease it it becomes darker so depending on the kind of edit that you want you can do it if you want to accentuate the sky a lot more you can decrease the luminancy the sky pops out a lot more it depends on your particular taste so what i am going to do is for this particular image Okay, so that concludes the color tones. So this this was the initial color tone and this is my final. There's still gonna be changes. This we go to this part, the effects control over here. Okay, you have certain things, you have clarity, dehaze, vignette, and uh, you have grain amounts. Clarity, now clarity is not really sharpness. What clarity does is it uh, sharpens out the edges and the and it darkens up the image in a certain way okay there's a difference between sharpening and clarity so if i increase the clarity of the image you can see every things become darker as well as much more potent like it's like co contrast increase along with sharpness so don't always go overboard with like clarity okay you can just play around with it but don't go overboard with it and there's dehaze so what dehaze does is the sky if you see the sky so it's not really clear because there's a mist kind of a thing there so if you increase the dehaze what it does is it clears up any misty kind of a effect from the entire image okay vignette if you decrease it gives a vignette effect here if you increase it gives a white vignette effect so if i decrease it the uh, next thing you can do is feather it out so if you don't feather it out it's very visible if you feather it out it sound, it looks a lot more now one thing I forgot to mention in the color mix kind of a thing is if suppose I click this okay 
Now I can select a particular color and decrease and increase its highlights and like saturations and hue. Like suppose if I click on this part, it's going to recognize that it is orange and yellow. So if I increase it, both orange and yellow will increase. If I decrease it, both orange and yellow will decrease. So you don't have to guess what color that you're going for. You can just uh, select what color you want and do it. That's about it for basic adjustments. Next we are going to go for local adjustments.